Hi, beautiful Sagittarius. It's CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. I appreciate each and every single one of you so much. I hope you're doing really well and that the past weekend has gone smoothly for you. Um, we've gotten a whole bunch of snow and it's very cold where I am, so um, my hands are a little chilled. But you know what? It looks beautiful out, so I will receive it. All right, Saggy, this is going to be your daily reading. I apologize for not being able to get to the Monday one. Um, my weekend was a little hectic, as I said, with all the snow and prepping and all that kind of stuff. So um, this is going to be your reading for Wednesday, so after the lunar eclipse. Um, maybe you've already listened to that, and we'll see what is waiting for you for Wednesday, possibly. Um, as always, please remember that this is a general, not a one-to-one, -one, so only take what resonates with you and let the rest else, the, all other messages go if they don't flow. And I am struggling with my tongue already. Wow, wonderful, CJ, wonderful. Um, and it can apply to anywhere you have a Sagi placement. Um, and the other thing is, is just keep in mind that, you know, time is fluid. So although I, my intention is for Wednesday, uh, this could be something that happens, you know, next Tuesday, for example, or a month from now. So whenever you feel like you want to come back and listen to the messages, there probably is something then in it for you. Okay, Sag, let's get started. I'm going to open up with a Moonology. Spirit guided me. Um, I know I used this deck for the last one on Tuesday, um, but Spirit has guided me, so we're going to go with that. Let's get one card, Spirit, for Sagittarius for Wednesday, the 9th of November, 2022. What guidance or message do you have that can help Saggy for the highest good of them? Please show me clearly. Okay, that's way too many. But you know what's really wild? Is all the colors are, oh, almost all the colors, they're all blues and purples. Okay, so blue and purple for me, healing, purple for me is really connecting with your higher source, that part of you, your soul, um, really being lifted up can be referring to you even tapping more into your intuition or your intuition guiding you towards something. So, um, like I said, I'm not gonna take all those. Spirit, sweet spirit, please one card for Saggy for Wednesday. Sagittarius. Beautiful Saggies. I love your energy. Ooh, okay, what is going on? All right, we got confidence is key, is the key to success. I thought they all flipped out. Um, and this is New Moon and Leo, so fellow fire sign for you. Uh, so Wednesday, Saggy, regardless of whether this is career, it's a general, so it can the energy can apply to any part of your life. This is about you really stepping up and owning that gorgeous power that you have. You have so much confidence. You are so skilled. You are so gifted. You also are such a loving soul. You have a big heart. Um, there is a message coming through that whatever you're facing, whatever you're having to do um, on Wednesday, remember to be confident, right? Remember your self-esteem. And even if you need to write down things that you've su been successful on before to remind yourself, go for it. Because you know that you have accomplished a lot. And technically, I always feel with Sagis, you guys normally have really good, healthy self-esteem. But as always, we all can have moments when we feel doubtful doubtful or a little bit unsure, a little bit nervous, totally normal. But confidence is going to be the key to success on Wednesday. Now, bottom of the deck, ooh, I like this, believe in the impossible, blue moon. Okay, so isn't that interesting? This is the blue moon following actually the blood moon that is happening on Tuesday with that um, lunar total lunar eclipse, which by the way, uh, that's not going to happen again until 2025. Can you believe it? Um, I'm kind of excited about that. But anyways, um, this is believe in the impossible, Saggy. Everything that you want, anything that you put your energy to, you focus on um, constantly, really, like no room for doubt, no room for feeling um, not as great as you are. Put your energy to what is possible. Anything is possible, Saggy, if you do put your mind to it. And that's what they're telling you here. So this feels like that's a full moon and this one is a new moon. This feels like there's something, this does feel like a career for a lot of you here that there may be something that you are being offered or there may be an expectation put on you here. Um, and you might at first feel a little bit nerve-wracked. 
But again, believe in the impossible. You can do it. And whatever this is, regarding to whatever this is, for some of you, I just seen someone boarding a plane. So, okay, so someone out there may never have been on a plane before. And this is about you really just going with the flow and being in the now and knowing that you can get um, through any fears or any um, worry, you're going to be fine. Uh, I hope I'm doing well enough to express what they're saying to me. That was really wild because they I just seen someone walking up these steps of the big plane. So what I feel is the main message here is it's about, you know, yes, we all have fear. Yes, we all get scared. We all get nervous, especially if it's something we haven't done before. Um, but you know what? Look at it as a opportunity, not a problem. And when you get to the other side, think of how wonderful you're going to feel about that. Okay, let's get into the tarot sp ugh, spread. Oh my gosh. All right, Spirit, help me to speak better to my Saggies out there. Let's get three cards for Sagittarius. Wednesday, November 9th. Okay. Whew. Okay, we got one. Justice has come out. Beautiful. Okay. Justice is Libra's card. This is saying that whatever might be bothering you, that you might be even stressing out about right now, um, I am doing this on the 7th of November, it feels like things get really balanced on Wednesday. Um, so however this is playing out in your life, things are going to work out in your favor. Two more cards, please, Spirit. Ooh, okay, not clear enough. Let's go again. All right, two more cards, please. For Sagittarius, November the 9th. Hmm. Sag, why is the deck so quiet? Okay, there we go. High Priestess, you now have two major arcana. So this actually does feel quite important here. Remember I was saying about listening to your intuition that you got to just listen to it? That's what the High Priestess is saying. Ooh, we got death on the bottom. We are still in Scorpio season. Um, yeah, we are, right? For the next, mm, not quite two weeks. High Priestess, Pisces card, Libra showing up, and then we had death on the bottom. Major transformation. Um, you know, let's say that you were going for a different job. I'm using this loosely, Saggy. Uh, take the energy as it applies, if it resonates with you. But let's say you're working at a place and uh, your boss or something says, you know, we want you to move to this position. It's going to pay more. It's going to be better for you. We trust that you can do it. And you're like, Oof, I don't know if I can do this. Am I going to be able to do this? Spirit is coming through to saying you are not only going to do it, you're going to do it with flying colors. You're going to be really rewarded. Trust your intuition. Our mind will take us down paths that aren't always positive. They're not. Our mind doesn't always do that high vibrational sending out vibration, if that makes sense. Our mind sometimes can really be almost like a little bit of a devil energy. Um, so this is going to be a day where it's really important to try and just shut your mind off more and listen to your intuition. Let your gut guide you on Wednesday. Things are being balanced. If this is about something that needs to be spoken about the truth, um, it could even be indicating that here because the justice card is about truth. That's uh, the sword of truth. Look at, we've got the Harfit now on the bottom. Higher learning. Um, okay, so that is really what I'm getting here. I feel spirit is saying, look, Saji, for those of you that this is your reading, this is going to be a day where it is about trusting your gut, trusting your, your knowledge, trusting who you are, believing in yourself, believing that anything is possible, uh, and that everything is getting balanced, and you are moving to a higher place. A higher position and if this isn't about your career this is indicating that you are meant to achieve many wonderful things and whatever this is know that it is going to work out for the best for you for your highest good you know that death card of Scorpio that is about letting something die out die out so that you can have this new beginning a new start no matter how big, no matter how small. But it is a major arcana. Wow, okay, we've got two cards. Um, oh my God, okay, maybe this is about love. <laughs> I love this reading. I'm getting so many messages, Spirit. Let's slow down one at a time. Um, 
as I was saying, Scorpio card, doesn't matter what, how big or small this death and rebirth is, but there is something huge shifting here and they're wanting you to really believe in what your gut is telling you, wanting you to really trust what your that inner guidance system is leading you to. Um, if this is about a relationship, it's like almost the exact same thing here. It's like believing in the relationship, believing in yourself, knowing that if it's been rocky, maybe it has been, you know, a bit of a struggle. We're all under big stress nowadays. We're coming up to, you know, Thanksgiving in the United States. We're coming up to Christmas if you celebrate it. There's even more added pressure on us individually to, you know, um, kind of keep up a little bit. I don't know about you, Saji, but for me, I mean, I'm not really into big presents and all that kind of stuff. I, I'm more in, and look, if you are, that's wonderful. Um, but it still stresses me out a little bit because it's like, you know, um, there's there's so many things it, that speed up around mid-November to, you know, the beginning of January. So you there might be a little bit of extra pressure that's been going on in a relationship and maybe you haven't been seen eye to eye. And I'm talking about romantic here specifically. Um, could be um, any other area in a relationship. But I'm saying a couple because the two cards that came out that Spirit gave you, and I shuffle these decks like crazy off camera, is the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, which is my partnership here. Um, this is about love. Water is about love and relationships. And that both of them showing up side by side, it's like everything balances out. There's a beautiful harmony coming back together. Um, there is beautiful love that is going to be shared. There's a beautiful flow that is happening on Wednesday. Um, if this is not about love, and my apologies if I'm jumping everywhere, but now spirit's kind of slowing down on the messages so I can kind of try and get them all out. Um, if this is about something else, it's the same energy. Things are going to be balanced out for you. You are going to start to feel a lot more peace if you have not been. If you are looking and open to finding love. It looks like there's a beautiful partnership coming in here. It is a beautiful message of believing in the big, big picture. The big picture, believing in it, and if you believe in it, you will achieve it. It just is the way of the law of attraction. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. Again, I love this. It's like, if things have been hard, and have felt out of balance, out of sync, in whatever area, Saji. This seems like the day where it is gonna be an actual really beautiful day. It is though gonna take a little bit of work from you to make sure that you're not letting any insecurities, any doubts, any feeling of not trusting that you can do something. As long as you don't feed into that, you are going to actually have a beautiful day that feels very much getting into alignment. Six of Swords is saying that you are moving away from whatever stuff has been troubling you. You know, it could be a person, it could be a situation, it could be a thing, it could be everything and in, in all combined here um, because we're all on different paths, but they really want you to believe that anything is possible. A blue Moon only comes around once in a while, right? Um, so this is feeling like a positive day. We do have the Knight of Pentacles underneath. Slow and steady, making sure you're just putting one foot in front of the other, slowly building your way to the Ten of Pentacles. Um, so let's continue. Let's get a little bit deeper, see what else Spirit has for you. I'm just taking a moment just to make sure that there's no other, that I've gotten what they, I'm picking up what they put down for me. I don't know, I just got a good feeling about this energy um, that Spirit has given me. It just feels, you know what is, oh my goodness. Okay, thank you, Spirit. What they showed me. Hmm. On the Justice card, and I have not really ever noticed this, her eyes are closed. On the High Priestess, yes, her eyes are closed. On the Queen, her eyes are closed. And on the King, his eyes are closed. And so the message I'm receiving from that, thank you, Spirit, is that it's almost like, you know, close your eyes and make a wish. That's the energy I'm picking up, is that it is going to be happening for you. So if that is, this is resonating with you, Saji, then start making your wishes, you know? Start making your wishes and really trusting that whatever this is that you're wanting is going to happen for you. Confidence is the key. All right, all right, Spirit, what else do you have? 
What else do you have for Sagittarius for Wednesday? Oh, there's that devil. I knew I mentioned the devil when I was saying our mind. This is spirit's way. This could be, for some of you guys, a person that is representing the devil. Could be a situation, right? Um, I think I've just covered that, though, with the stress factor. But remember the very beginning, I was saying we've got to control our mind because sometimes our mind can act like the devil and tell us all the wrong things and convince us that we are stuck that we are no good, that we're not going to be able to make anything happen, that we can feel imprisoned and feel just, you know, darn right lousy. That is a reminder of spirit saying, don't give this energy any of your energy. It is not going to take you where you want to go. So I really feel like that's a heads up. For some of you, it could be another person. And if it is another person, this is about you trusting that your angels, your gods, whatever it is that you believe in, Saggy, are they've got your back and you are going to be absolutely fine out of this. Look, it's your card is on the bottom. Ooh, I love that we're taking it. Because to me, this is really powerful. Look, we've got the devil, and then we've got you, which is like the angel. Look at the angel wings behind. <clears throat> Beautiful hand of God touching you and making your wishes come true. Saggy, your card showing up is also about, yes, you're patient, and this is the card about staying centered, even if there's chaotic energy around you, not digging into it, not giving into it, not even acknowledging it. Um, and the way I'm feeling here, because temperance is number 14, devil is 15. This is almost like a choice <clears throat> on that day. Are you going to stay with your center, with your beautiful energy, and know that you are moving on to something that is really gonna be great and that whatever you've been wishing for is going to come true? Or are you going to give any energy to the devil? And I already know, you're like, hell no. <laughs> hell to the no, right, exactly. But that's what spirit wants you to be aware of. So um, it, it does feel like the traditional kind of like angel on one shoulder, devil on the other sh shoulder, you know, those old cartoons, right? Um, but you're not going to be buying into that. I just This is just a little bit of a, just be major aware of what your mind is telling you. And if it's someone else, just don't give them any energy. Okay, let's continue. If we got one more card here for the outcome, please. Um, they give me two. Got strength on the bottom. Leo showing up again. Okay, we have the five of swords and the two of wands. Again, this feels like this choice. And I feel like you have all the power here. Five of Swords is that energy of not listening to what your intuition is saying and you're listening more to the logical part. Could be that other person that's telling you shit, that's criticizing you, that's making you feel not good. Um, but I sense for most of you guys, this is more of an inner conflict. Uh, so this is about not giving into this and making the right choice. Two of Wands, right? You can you see what I'm saying? We've got it feels like two choices. You can either be in that energy of feeling like you're stuck and things are just going round and round and it's chaotic. Or you can be in the energy of, I have patience, I'm staying centered, I believe in myself, and my wishes are going to come true. That's the right choice to make because you're going to be moving to better waters. You're going to be moving to something that is going to be better for you, Saji. And the bottom of the deck, it does say strength, as I said. This is about you. This is about courageousness. This is about staying confident. This is about waking up that inner line that exists in all of us and saying, "I'm going to, just, I'm going to power through this day, and I'm going to remember my beautiful strength, and I'm going to make everything happen that I want to happen." So this is a really powerful um, day for you because look at we've got one, two, three, four, five, five major arcana showing up in this reading for you. So great day. This is your friendly, loving reminder from me. On Wednesday, choose the path that makes you feel good. Don't choose the path that makes you not feel good. On Wednesday, allow yourself to focus on all that can be yours. And do not give, your, do not give the energy to anything that is less than that. Believe in the impossible. All right, Saji, I'm going to close your reading off. Let's go into Treasures from Takashi. Underneath the strength card, I will say, is the five of wands. So this is a little bit of a battle for some. Oh, wow. We got the five of wands and we got the five of pentacles. This could be a battle. Like I said, I feel like it's inner conflict. But for some of you, this could be the other person, right? The other people in the situation that just might be trying to work you and manipulate you 
and convince you of something that is not true. Don't accept it. Don't take it. Five of Pentacles underneath that. and But then we have the Empress. So three fives have shown up um, in your reading. Five is about change. So um, remember that death card showing up. This could be a really big deal for you. For some of you guys, this could be a really big deal for you on Wednesday. And when you wake up Thursday, uh, you may just be like, holy hell, I feel so wonderful. Okay, Spirit, let's close Saji's reading off for Wednesday. Let's get one card, Treasures of from Takashi. I love you guys so much, and I really do hope you're doing well, staying healthy out there, going after your dreams, pursuing what you want, what you deserve, because you do. You deserve the world, the beautiful parts of the world. All right, Saji, let's get one card, Spirit. Okay, that one just flipped. Compassion. Okay, let's read this. Compassion. Allow tenderness and kindness into your thoughts and actions and soften your attitude to yourself and others. Feel how good it is to be kind to yourself. Lovingly, allow, lovingly allowing the journey of others, you can be there for them with what? Let me reread. Lovingly allowing the journey of others, you can be there for them with understanding and support, but let go of symptom. Oh my. Sag, what the heck's going on with me? Okay, sorry, my apologies. Sympathy <clears throat> and allow compassion. Allow the feminine energy of gentleness to enter your daily life. You know, for some of you guys, that might be very true. This There could be someone that is really trying to get your goat. <coughs> Excuse me. And... You don't have to accept it. You don't have to tolerate it. But sometimes when we look at someone that is not, um, you know, not exactly high vibrating, right? On a very energetic level, they're more low vibrating. They can get your goat and they can piss you off. They can hurt you. They can do all of that kind of stuff. But if you can kind of take a step back and maybe look at it and go, hmm, why is this person this way? Like, why are they mean? Why are they cruel? Why are they, you know? It's not about giving them that sympathy, as the card said. It's about just perhaps really acknowledging that they're in a different lower vibration than you are. And so, and that can kind of make it easier than to be around those kind of people because then you can just look at them and go, you know, um, glad I'm not on your journey kind of energy. Okay, um, bottom of the deck, spontaneity. It says, have fun, express your love, do something unusual. Get out of your head and into your heart. Yes, that's what this reading is, and I'm going to title it that, because that's exactly how it's been feeling. Get out of your head, but into your heart, into your intuition. Planning certainly needs to have place in your life, but do not allow self-imposed rules and limitations to stop you from expressing who you are. Although now is not the time for impulsive spending, okay? Be spontaneous on the inside. Think kind thoughts where none have gone before. Okay, this, and then we have growth after that too. So I do feel like this, this day on Wednesday is that it's going to lead you to a transformation of some sort. I don't know how big it is going to be, but it feels beautiful. Just stay true to you and trace, stay true to your values and your moral compass, compass, what makes you feel really connected to your beautiful soul. And don't allow anyone or anything the best that you can to get under your skin because this is only a day reading, and but it does feel like this could be a momentous kind of day for you, especially with getting that believe in the impossible. You know, this doesn't come out often. So when it does, there's a main energy to it. And they're reminding you that you can achieve and have whatever that is that you want. The great job, the great bank account, that great loving relationship, whatever it is, um, you know, that travel that maybe you've never traveled before, right? Whatever it is. Um, just believe in it because there is nothing as that says there's nothing impossible. In fact, if you look at the word impossible, it's I'm possible. If you split it up, right? I'm possible. And so positive energy. Okay, Saji, I apologize for my, um, blah, 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 you know, uh, geez, that's just me. That's just me. And that's how it goes when spirit 
gets excited to give a lot of messages. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped in some way. At the very least, I hope it uplifted you and it was just maybe that little reminder. I'm gonna take this message for Wednesday as well for us all to just remain focused on the light and forget about the dark. All right, Saji, many kisses and big hugs to you. All my love and I wish you a beautiful day. Go kick some butt. All right, Saji, take care.